Hello everyone. Happy Thursday again. So we are moving on to English or ELA, English language, right? English language. So we're going to continue our introduction to context clues today. And we'll be going on to page five. All right. Now the first and most important thing we need to do today is review what we learned yesterday. This will help us have an easier time with our packet. So yesterday we talked about signal words. They tell you what type of context clue is in the sentence. The definition of a new word usually follows a signal word. It's often next to commas. And the examples we saw were that is, which is, or, and in other words. Now I've been trying to use some signal words in our Google Classroom comments. When I use a tough word, I'll try and put a signal word like that is, or which is, or, or in other words next to it to help you guess the meaning. For instance, when I was talking about my new couch, I got it reupholstered, and then I said reupholstered, which is, recovered and made to look nice again. So we're going to use those signal words, which we have here as our examples, and find them in our packet on page five. So it says exercise A, use ing definition signal words. One, read each sentence. Two, use the signal words to locate the meaning of the underlined word. Three, beside each sentence, write the signal words and the meaning of the underlined word. Let's do the first one, let's try. I saw a puma or a mountain lion through the telescope. Ooh, or is in this sentence. I'm going to circle it because that's our signal word. So we can say the signal word in the sentence is or, nice and easy. The meaning of puma is, now in order to find that meaning, we have to look back at our context clues. So the signal word was or, and the clue is a mountain lion. Oh, so a mountain lion can also be called a puma. So the meaning of puma is, a mountain lion. Excellent. All right, let's try the next one. Many succulents or juicy plants store water in their leaves and stems. All right, well, just like the last sentence, we have or again, so we can circle it. We know that's our signal word for our context clues. So it says the signal word in the sentence is or, nice and easy, or. The meaning of succulents is, okay, let's see, let's read the sentence again. Many succulents or juicy plants store water in their leaves and stems. Oh, perfect. So I know that a succulent kind of means like a juicy plant. An example of that would be something like an aloe vera plant. You might have one in your house right now. So a juicy plant, P-L-A-N-T, juicy plant. It's kind of silly to write that down, but it works. All right, let's see what the next one could be. Her blouse was made of muslin, which is a strong cotton cloth. All right, so our word we're trying to figure out here is muslin, and it's right next to a comma, and right behind that comma is the signal words, which is awesome. All right, we found it. So the signal words in the sentence are which 
is amazing. The meaning of muslin is, all right, let's read the sentence again to see if we can figure out the meaning. Her blouse was made of muslin, which is a strong cotton cloth. Oh, perfect. Our context clues are that muslin is a strong cotton cloth. So I can say that the meaning of muslin is a strong cotton cloth, C-L-O-T-H. I wonder if the clothing you're wearing right now is made of muslin. All right, let's go to our last one. Today is a pretty easy day. I'm pretty excited about it too. Let's see, the soldiers had to abandon the fort before the enemy saw them. Hmm, I haven't seen any single signal words yet, but maybe they'll come up. In other words, they had to leave. Oh, so in other words, there's our signal word. And even though it's kind of far away from the word we're trying to figure out, abandon, it's still right next to commas and a semicolon. And it helps us understand what abandon probably means, right? They had to leave. So let's see, think. The signal words in the sentence are, we already found it, right? In other words. So let's write it down. In other words. And we can read the sentence one more time to make sure that we know what the meaning of abandon is. So, the soldiers had to abandon the fort before the enemy saw them. In other words, they had to leave. Oh, perfect. So, the meaning of abandon is they had to leave. So we can just write that exact thing. The meaning of abandon is they had to leave. We can even kind of apply the word abandon to what's happening right now, right? We, in some ways, kind of had to abandon our regular school day. We had to abandon our school for right now just because we had to leave to stay safe at home. So this is great. Now we know that abandon means they had to leave. We can now guess from our context clues that muslin means a strong cotton cloth. We can now guess that succulents probably means a juicy plant and that a puma can also be called a mountain lion. Awesome. We use context clues every single day, even when we become grown-ups. Sometimes we see words that we don't necessarily understand. So when we find signal words in our sentences, like or, or which is, or in other words, or that is, we can use those signal words to help us better understand what the meaning of some difficult words may be. Next time you're reading our Just for Fun books, see if there's a word that you don't understand on the page you're reading, and then check and see if there's a signal word nearby, and maybe it can help you better understand the meaning of a tough word. All right, my friends, I will see you later today for story time where we continue reading A Nest for Celeste. Have a lovely rest of your Thursday. Bye.